Anita's Kitchen and what I'm going to be making for you today is stuffed peppers and of course you can use the peppers of your choice. These are the ones that we're going to be using today. Okay so what I'm going to do now is just open up our peppers and these are colored peppers. You could use green ones like I said you use the ones of your choice. What we'll start with now is just cutting them open. We don't need the insides of these peppers. We're only going to be using the very top. So I'm going to cut off the top straight down because you're going to be using this again. So just place this into your, your water bath because you need to get them cleaned as well. So we're going to cut out the inside, take all the stones out, have a little garbage bin waiting. So clean everything out like this and then place this into your water bath. So we will can continue doing this until I get all four done and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to cut our last pepper. And of course, I have a, a, a large bowl of cold water to the side. You don't need to go to your tap to do it. And just make sure everything's cleaned out of your peppers and then wash it. So we're going to put this now to the side. Um, I'm going to get my uh, large bowl to start doing the mixture for the inside and I'll show you what that is. Okay, so I got a small onion that we're going to chop into small pieces. You don't, uh, you don't need uh, big chunks for this because you don't have a whole lot of space that you're working with. Make sure all the peel is off your onion. So I'm going to cut this down now into slices first and then we'll just make it into small pieces. I'll show you now into cubes. Just take it and twist it one more time, so a piece of peel, and then cut it down into really small pieces. And when you get all of that done, just place it into your bowl off to the side. Okay, so continue cutting it until it's in small pieces, and then put it all into your bowl that you're going to be mixing up all of your ingredients. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to have two pieces of garlic cubes and they're quite simple to break open. I'll give you a little trick here now. Take your knife and smack, the, smack down on them and just open it this way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to chop it into little pieces. I'm going to put it into my press and press it into this bowl. So our last piece of garlic we're going to press into this bowl and again if you don't have a presser you can chop it but chop it in really small pieces. Okay so we got a cup and a half of lean ground beef. So you put that in there. I already washed it in advance. Put this to the side. I'm going to go with one cup of rice. Now you could use rice of your choice. Um, it doesn't matter what, what kind, but it's what, whichever one you want to use. Okay, so we put that in there. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to use one large egg. So you put that in there as well. So we're, what, basically what we're doing here now, we're just going to add all the ingredients that we would need for this dish and mix it together. I'm going to use a cup of pasta sauce and again of your choice because this is something you're making for yourself whatever you enjoy using more okay so next we're going to go with a pinch of pepper I always go with a little bit more pepper and I'm using sea salt so a couple of grates of sea salt now I'm going to be mixing this with my hand but at first I'm going to try to incorporate some of the ingredients with my wooden stick but then after, I'm going to mix it with my hand because I don't want to over mix it, but I want it all combined and, and it don't cut it when you're doing it with a stick. So I'll start with the stick. Okay, so now I'm going to be mixing this with my hand. We're not going to over mix it because uh, it'll toughen up your meat and uh, we don't want that to happen. So we just want to mix it just enough so it's all of the ingredients is incorporated equally together. So now we got that all mixed together, I'm just going to clean off my hand a little bit because I'm going to be using my hand to um, 
to also scoop it up with. So the peppers have been soaked and washed. We're just gonna lay them out here on the board. Again, you can use peppers of your choice. I'm using these because they're nice and colorful. So just take up equal amounts now. You're just gonna bring it up with your hand. You can use a scoop if you don't like to use your hand, but again, it don't hurt. Okay, so we're gonna stuff our last pepper. You might have a little bit left over. You can try to get them in all, all four. Sometimes you've got a little bit of a bigger pepper too because some peppers are a little more bigger. And don't overpack it. Like don't press down on it too much because you don't want, again, to stuff it in tight. I'm gonna grab for my roaster and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in the next step. Okay, I'm just gonna move this dish out of my way. And what we will do now, I'm going to bring my roaster closer to me. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put four of them into a roaster that got a lid. Because you want to cover it, because we want to steam bat these in the oven on a 350 degree heat for about an hour and a half. Because we're only using about a half a pound of ground beef, a cup and a half, with the rice, um, it shouldn't take much longer than that. So we're gonna put another little bit of pepper over the top, each one. And again, you season to your taste. And then we're gonna take the lids and put on each one. Now you could get creative and put a different color on a different pepper and just it'll just look nice that way. And um, especially if you're gonna have company and then they'll have a different top looks something like this red top with an orange bottom it's kind of decorative and now we're going to put a cup of cold water into the bottom because this is going to be your bath for your peppers i'm going to place these now in the oven uh, i got a pre uh, on 350 for an hour and a half and uh, then meet me back here then okay i got my peppers in the oven but i just wanted to make mention that um, halfway through your hour and a half, you want to check them to make sure all the water you still got water in the bottom of your pan because you don't want your pan to dry to run dry. So put another little bit of water, another cup if you need to, or just a small amount, um, and then just leave them there covered until they're done. Um, when they're finished, I'm going to show you what our next step would be. back to Bonita's kitchen. Our peppers have cooked for us. I'm going to take the lid off. They look amazing and smell amazing in there as well. Okay, I'm going to take one out and put on my plate. I'm just going to move these to the side because I don't need all of them. And I'm just going to show you now what it looks like on the inside. Um, it took about an hour and 15 minutes to cook mine. Everybody's oven, of course, varies. I'm going to take the top off here, just put it to the side. Of course, this is what it looks there. I'm going to have a side of salad. I'm going to put some sauce over my pepper. And I'm going to cut it in the middle so that you can see. I'm just going to put a little garnish of sauce over that. Okay, so I'm going to cut it in the middle and let it fall, just so that you can see what it would look like inside. Got it cut, so this is what it's going to look like on the inside. Looks delicious. I'm going to put another little bit of sauce. Of course, you could have it with a side of bread. Also, this meal you can cook in your slow cooker. You can probably about the same amount of time if you put it on high um, because it's really the steam bath that's doing the work, and of course, that's what a slow cooker is all about. But for now, this meal um, is a any time of the week meal. It's, it's not a lot of work. You can prepare it uh, the night before, keep it in your fridge, and then put it in the oven the next day. I'm just gonna have a little taste there now. Mmm, delicious. Okay, please try this recipe with your family and friends. I'm going to post this video on YouTube. And in under the video, we'll have a, a copy of the recipe for this video. All right then, well, thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen, and you have a wonderful day.